This is Coach Lee, and in perhaps my most controversial video to date, I'm going to talk about whether or not God will answer your prayers to get your ex back. Take a quick second, click the subscribe button below, and let's get going. I realize I have a diverse audience of people who believe differently about different things based on their experiences, their values, how they were raised, how they see the world. And so I'm not trying to make you believe something as much as I am addressing those who do or those who are open. Of the many emails that I get from people who've been broken up with, so many of them will talk about how hard they are praying that their ex will come back. They will even ask me, do you think God will answer my prayer for my ex to come back to me? And on coaching calls, in tears, a lot of people express how much they have prayed, how many times during the day, when they're feeling that anxiety, when they're hurting, when they feel like everything else is hopeless, they might as well ask a higher power. Though I am not a preacher, I do have a bit of experience in this area. And that's for me to know personally. It's not something I want to get into in this video, but just know that I'm not speaking in ignorance here and that I do have some education on the matter. I actually majored in theology for a little bit before majoring in human development. So I can speak from a qualified background to answer this to some degree for those of you who want an answer. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a little bit controversial in that some people don't believe we actually have it. I do, and it's called free will, and your ex has it as well. And if God were to make your ex come back to you, force them, cause them to change their mind directly, then literally your ex would be like a programmed robot or someone who was brainwashed. It wouldn't really be your ex coming back to you because they want to, but because of an outside influence, which you really don't want. A lot of you, I know a lot of you think, I'll take them back however I can get them. I'll take brainwashing. I'll take them being a robot. Just get them back to me. And I get that. And I've been there. But I can tell you that long term, you don't want to be dating or in love with or in a relationship with someone who's basically a programmed robot. So if God made your ex come back to you, he wouldn't be doing you any favors, even if it might feel like it in that moment. And that's a key part of this, is the moment that you are in, the saying, desperate times call for desperate measures, really makes sense. You feel like you will take your ex back however you can get them. That's why so many of you will beg your ex to come back to you. You'll ask for mercy because you don't care how you make it happen. You don't care how it happens. You just want your ex back because you are panicked that you're losing them. You feel a sense of urgency and you feel like the world is closing in around you because this person doesn't think they love you anymore. And all you can see is this moment in front of you, which I get. As a matter of fact, I'm a big believer in staying in the moment, focusing on the seconds. But you see, that's where this moment in front of you is causing you to project into the future what it will be like if your ex never comes back and you're thinking this misery you have right now will exist in the future and you can't stand the idea of this second existing in terms of how you feel in the future. So your perspective, because of the pain you're going through, is off. It's sort of like when you're running a long distance marathon or some kind of race where you just have to run a long way, you will feel that the pain of running, the energy it's taking, the pain in your lungs, how tired you feel is permanent. That's why you stop. But people who can realize this is just temporary, this is just for a few more minutes or whatever the time is, they're the ones who can push through and have endurance because they realize the future will feel differently and that this moment is not forever. And so while in the moment, anything, any way you can get your ex back, makes total sense to you and you'll take it. And I get that. Just realize that what you're feeling is temporary and that the emotions, the panic, the anxiety is temporary. And so you cannot base your future around what you're feeling right now. Now that's helpful for anxiety, but what about why God won't answer your prayers to get your ex back or why it seems like he's not or will he? As I've already said, you don't want a programmed robot or somebody who's brainwashed to come back to you. That's not God's MO, and so he won't do that. He's not going to force your ex to come back to you. 
Now, how he could work? Many different ways. First of all, to help you feel better because prayer is a natural anxiety reliever. There's all kinds of scientific studies where when you ask a higher power to help you and you express your fears, your hurts, your concerns, that that is actually helpful to you in terms of the chemicals produced in your body that are associated with anxiety and stress, they go down. You feel better. And it helps you actually express it to someone who you feel is not judgmental and who cares. That will help you be stronger and push through. And that may be to a day when your ex doesn't come back, but hopefully since you're watching my videos and you're doing the right things, that will be to a day when your ex does come back. And another way that God could be helping is that he could put situations in front of your ex and let your ex make their own decisions, but at least give them an opportunity to see and make their own decisions. And so whether you believe in God or not, it's not really the point of this video because a lot of you will still try prayer when you're desperate. And so I'm giving you an idea of how some of this may work out and what it may feel like. And maybe the ball is already rolling. Maybe you found these videos and were able to do some of these things to back off, to give your ex that space and time in an answer to prayer or even an answer to future prayer. You ever feel like maybe you prayed something later than you should have? but yet the ball was already rolling, pieces were already moving, the ground beneath you was already shaking before you prayed the prayer. And so we get a benefit from a higher power who's eternal going in either direction. It can be really interesting when you think about it. But another question I want you to ask yourself is, who really knows what they want? Because I have talked to people who were on their knees begging, who were praying, who believed that they would receive this thing from God, that God would get their ex back to them, and it was desperation and urgency, and their ex came back. And it was celebration, answer to prayer, everything was gonna work out well now. And then a few months later, they decided that they didn't wanna be in a relationship with their ex. Now granted, it was a short-term relationship. Usually longer-term relationships are less likely to have that result. But it is interesting that we think we know what we want and then we change. And so my question is, who really knows what they want? Now, I know you want your ex back. That's what I try to help you with. I'm not going to try to water it down and act like it doesn't really matter. It does matter. You want to fight to get your ex back. I get that. I'm not one of these guys who tells you to just move on and forget about it. That's not me. I am realistic. I know you can't flick a switch and I'm not telling you that you should. So that's not where I'm going with this. I'm just saying that if you choose to have faith in a higher power, then have faith that maybe he knows you're gonna change, that maybe this is really not as big of a deal as it feels and there's someone better out there. Now again, I'm not telling you to give up. I'm not telling you to stop fighting. I'm just saying at least entertain the idea. It will help you because sometimes when something seems difficult or when, for example, when I talk about directed laughter in my video on how to get over anxiety and how to manage the anxiety of a breakup. A lot of people say, I don't feel like laughing. I don't think that would help. I don't want to laugh. I hurt right now. And I'll say, just do a fake laugh. Just like some overacted film laugh. Even if it's just ha 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 ha. Just something simple like that. You'll be surprised how over time, it's not a very long time usually, usually it's just a few days, people will really embrace it. They start to mull it over in their head, even subconsciously, and all of a sudden they start to embrace directed laughter, which is something that is kind of a unique thing to me that I tell people to do when they're having anxiety. And so all I'm asking is that you entertain this idea that maybe you could be different in the future. Maybe you don't really know what you want right now. So all that I'm saying is consider it, even if it's just thinking the sentence in your head or saying it out loud, saying, I could feel differently in the future. That's all. Just do that. Do that at least once a day. Do that every time you feel anxiety, even if it feels like that's not what you want because most of the people want to hold on to the anxiety some. They're afraid that even that is letting go of their ex, which could possibly not get their ex back to them, which is an interesting thing because some people don't want to get over their ex. In the 20 years that I've been doing this, I have heard people say that. They'll say, I don't want to get over them. It's an interesting concept, but at least say the sentence, think the thought, I could feel differently in the future. Because 
if you were praying to a higher power and this higher power knows you will feel differently in the future, could you at least see that their motivation would not be to give you something that you won't appreciate in the future? I'm not claiming to know the mind of God or a God or any higher power. I'm just telling you that I do have a background in this. I have thought this through and I thought that this might be helpful for you because I know a lot of you are praying and a lot of you are wondering what you can do and how God could help you. Well, I can tell you that the odds are not great that you would find any one particular video on YouTube at any certain time. And maybe not great that you would be watching this one at this moment. And so maybe this is something that God is using to help you. And so I'll take this moment to tell you that if you have been broken up with, to leave your ex alone and to give them space. I have a video called, What is my ex thinking during no contact? and stages your ex goes through during no contact. I'm going to link those videos below. I highly suggest that you watch them because the power of leaving your ex alone and letting them see what life is like without you is incredible. It doesn't work in every situation. It does not work in every situation, but it works a lot and it's still the best response you could take because your ex must experience the breakup that they think that they want or else how would they know that they want it? They don't. They can't. So let them experience the breakup. Let them see what it's like. Let them see that you're not going to chase, that you're stronger than they thought. Rock their ego a little bit in letting them see that you're not going to try to get them back, that you are letting them have what they think they want. You are not going to appear selfish, even though it's really not selfish, but it can seem that way to them when you try to beg or say, just take me back, even if they don't want to, that you are going to let them sit in this and that you believe in yourself enough that all you have to do is leave them alone and let them see what reality really is without you and they will come back. That is a strong and powerful position to take. It works very well, it works often, and it works way better than other things that you could try to do like beg, plead, continue the conversation, keep the communication lines open, all those things that other people might even tell you to do. Watch some of my videos on getting your ex back and Get more information on my emergency breakup kit that I will link to in the description below. I also have an emergency marriage kit if you are separated or your marriage is in danger of separation or divorce. Click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified when I have more videos that are on topics about relationships, breakups, mindfulness, and attraction. This has been Coach Lee with MyExpatCoach.com and as always, thank you for watching.